The key projects that we're carrying out here under the funding by the Ludwig have been to bring together world experts on stem cells and cancer stem cells and finding from the purified cancer stem cells what are previously undiscovered targets. My research is uh, at the interface between normal development and uh, how cancer arises. And it is with the support uh, from an organization like the Ludwig that we are able to purchase equipment or to employ people in the lab. And very importantly also to support students and postdocs in the lab. That will indeed facilitate getting the results in the research that we, that we need. Well, we have a number of projects that we currently focus on with Ludwig's support. They generally relate to the development of therapeutic antibodies that target leukemia stem cells in AML, that's acute myeloid leukemia. The prime project uh, is a project where we are working to target CD47, which is a very important molecule that we discovered here at Stanford in our Ludwig Center several years back. Uh, and with support both from Ludwig and from CIRM, uh, we've been developing a humanized antibody for clinical trials in patients. We have a number of other secondary candidates for therapeutic antibodies that we've been working on uh, in parallel. They're not as far along in development and we don't have external funding for those pro projects at this time. Uh, so the Ludwig has been critical to supporting uh, those therapeutic programs. Our own group has found that every cancer puts a don't eat me signal on its surface. Everyone, we discovered it through cancer stem cells and largely through the funding by the Ludwig we found it is in every human cancer we've tested that when we block the don't eat me signal, the cancers, the authentic human primary cancers, when transplanted into the bodies of immune deficient mice, brain cancer to brain, breast cancer to breast, that the tumors are largely or completely resolved. The Ludwig has allowed us to take a bold step to try to change from small molecule therapeutics, at least in our laboratory, to look for the immune modalities which really promise to have higher and higher frequencies of cures. You have the basic discovery, the scientific observation, and then to translate that into an actual therapeutic. That big chasm, this valley, is one where there isn't and there are not very many funding sources available to support that type of research. So without Ludwig funding support, we might not be able to bring these projects forward, certainly not as quickly as we hope to, but maybe not at all, depending on how successful we were at, uh, at obtaining other sources of funding. The Ludwig, unlike most federal grants, bets on the person, not the project. And by gathering together the best immunologists and cancer specialists in the world and allowing them to have their own institution, play a key role, and as we uniquely do at Stanford, for the cancer stem cell side, and then interact between great groups. They know that the bet that they're making is likely to work because the track record of the people is already out there. As a physician, I experienced uh, suffering and mortality of my many patients that have these diseases. It's very motivating to go to the clinic and be in a scenario where you want to provide help and benefit, but you're not able to because the drugs just don't exist. Anytime I think about those clinical experiences, it's incredibly motivating. Now that has to translate then into an action, and our action is to pursue this line of research, and that's really uh, where we need support from outstanding donors like the Ludwig Foundation. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.